Hi, this is John here from Glen Farrow Physiotherapy. Thanks so much for uh, everybody tuning in the last day to see my video series. So we're going to continue again on low back pain. So people are asking about uh, a disc bulge. Now, how we did have to determine a disc bulge, we use three different names for it. A bulge, a prolapse, or herniation. So you've probably heard of those terms before. So going back to our disc, if you can imagine, this is how I view a person if I'm looking from right down on the person itself. But we're viewing directly down on the camera here from the person. So this is the front of the disc and this is the back of the disc. Now again, your disc is made up of your fibrosis, which are the rings around the disc, and our propulsus, which is the gel-like substance which is contained in here. Now when someone experiences a disc bulge or a prolapse, what happens is, is that the actual propulsive tissue or the gel-like substance comes out from the back. Now generally it will affect you more in the back and the reason for that is purely down to anatomy that we have less rings at the back of our disc as opposed to the front of our disc. So when you get a release of the gel-like substance on it, it releases these things called chemical mediators. Now chemical mediators are almost like tissue that agitates around the area. So that's what is a common issue that why people experience pain with a disc bulge. However, we can say that 75% of discs can actually repair themselves within six months without any form of care. And it is very common because most people who get disc bulges are usually older populations and can, can be completely asymptomatic, meaning they'll have no pain whatsoever and they'll have a disc bulge. That's why often when we look at an MRI, people can have a disc bulge but have no pain. So often you'll see it more so in your older populations who are degenerative. This also, however, can occur. People can feel disc bulge or pain if they're younger and they've had a mechanical injury as well. But that hopefully explains things a little bit better. If we look here just at the spine of the skeleton again, we'll see that the bulge is generally at the back and usually comes out the side. So that can often cause people to have symptoms coming down the leg or coming back to the back of their knee or else just experience there at the back. If someone has a disc bulge, it can be managed conservatively and physiotherapy should always be people's first port of call for treatment uh, for this issue. I hope that gives people some advice and some idea around what a disc bulge is and thanks very much for watching.